Hello, welcome to IF. New videos posted weekly. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you'll never miss a video again. Superhero movies and comic books have been seeing a renaissance. The popularity of movies from Marvel and DC has surged. They have been bringing in big bucks at the box office. Marvel's Infinity War trailer almost broke the internet. Fans sharing the trailer and speculating on what could happen. So in this video we look at superheroes and more specifically superpowers. We asked the question if there are any real life superpowered individuals out there. Is there any fact behind the fiction? We are going to look at three types of superpower. Physical powers. Are there Hulk like people out there in the world? Mental abilities like those shown by X-Men leader and mentor Professor X. And finally technological enhancement. Can we become the next Iron Man or Batman? So let's get into it. Superheroes like Superman show amazing strength and it's a staple ability for the majority of superheroes out there. But what about normal humans? What is the limit of our strength? Throughout history mankind has obsessed over physical strength. Legends like Hercules and Samson making strength a measure of masculinity. This then leading to competition like the ancient Olympic Games where wrestling was used to find the strongest man alive. This has carried on through the ages and in modern times we have seen international competitions like the world's strongest man. This is where the likes of Ed Cohen and Andy Bolton and Bill Kazmaier made their names. Taking part in mixed events which test their ability to lift and move huge weight. They may not be to the level of Superman but compared to the average man on the street it is impressive. The Guinness Book of World Records lists the feat of lifting 6,270 pounds in a back lift as the greatest weight ever raised by a human being. But what if like the Hulk we all have this strength, it is just dormant waiting for a trigger. Bruce Banner needs to get angry to release the Hulk. In what situation could your average Joe do the same? There have been many recorded incidents of normal people displaying strength that sh they should not have. From middle aged women lifting cars to kids carrying adults three times their size from burning buildings. This is known as hysterical strength. When we find ourselves under intense pressure, fear unleashes reserves of energy that normally remain inaccessible. We become in effect superhuman. Under acute stress the body's synthetic nervous system prepares the body for sustained vigorous action. The adrenal gland dumps cortisol and adrenaline into the bloodstream. Blood pressure surges and the heart races delivering oxygen and energy to the muscles. It's the biological equivalent of opening the throttle on an engine. Vladimir Sikorsky has studied the biomechanics of weightlifting. He draws a distinction between the force that our muscles are able to theoretically apply. This he calls absolute strength. The maximum force that they can generate through the conscious exertion of will which he then calls maximum strength. An ordinary person can only summon about 65% of their absolute power in a training session while a trained weightlifter can exceed 80%. This higher level of performance is known as competitive maximum strength. However these parameters are not fixed. The more intense the competition the higher it can go. The brain's fear center progressively removing any restraint on muscle performance. But there is a limit to how fast and how strong fear can make us. The human body has limits but what if we could surpass those limits by using technology. This moves us into the realms of those heroes such as Batman and Iron Man. Both ordinary men whom have used their vast fortunes to purchase or invent cutting edge tech that gives each of them some amazing abilities. Technology today is making huge leaps forward. Computing power is constantly improving and material science is coming out with ever more amazing materials. Lighter, stronger and with properties that were thought to be impossible. Could we see these inventions being combined to make some kind of super suit? The US military has for a number of years been working on such a project. Talos, the tactical assault light operator suit is an exoskeleton and armor combination. These suits will be made with a liquid body armor that transforms into a solid 
within milliseconds when a magnetic field or an electric current is applied through the material. General Atomics intend to provide the Talos suits with a miniature combustion engine. This technology will rely on the liquid pistons X engine which employs the high efficiency hybrid cycle. The purpose of the engine in the exoskeletal suit would be to recharge batteries which in turn supply energy to all of the power thirsty components which will be integrated with the Talos suit including computer and sensor systems as well as a robotic strength augmentation. Exoskeletal system the robotic strength may come from an invention that shares its name with the super strong green menace that is the Hulk. Hulk Human Universal Load Carrier by Exobionics and Lockheed Martin. This device a metal framework with high powered motors surrounds the wearer giving them the ability to lift huge weights with very little physical output from the body. So super strength and invulnerability seem to be somewhat covered. But what about that dream of many a superhero wannabe? Flight Richard M. Browning, an ex Royal Marine reservist, has created a suit which uses six miniature jet engines mounted on the arms and the lower back to provide propulsion. He has successfully flown this suit and it is claimed to have the capability of flying at several hundred miles per hour and at thousands of feet. So it looks like Iron Man would be happy, but what about Batman? As we all know, the Bat has an obsession. All his tech must be Bat themed and of course, come in black. Let's take our new power armor and give it a coat of Vanta Black. What's Vanta Black? Only the blackest material on planet Earth. The spray on form is capable of blocking 99.8% of infrared, ultraviolet, and visible light. Maker Surrey Nanosystems announced in 2016 that they had enhanced the blackness of Vanta Black to such a degree that no spectrometer can ascertain the quantum of light it absorbs. Vanta Black is not paint, but a special coating developed from an amalgam of carbon nanotubes measuring 20 nanometers each. It is a densely packed cluster of millions of tiny nanotubes. The light while entering the gaps of the nanotubes gets trapped and is fully absorbed. This would be great for hiding in those dark alleys of Gotham so it would seem technology is catching up with its comic book counterparts. So how about the last group we mentioned at the start of this video, those with mental powers. We have already taken a look at telepathy in another video, see the link above. So let's focus on telekinesis. Telekinesis is an umbrella term for any ability that involves using the mind to influence, manipulate, move matter or objects. There have been a few people whom are said to have displayed this power, although demonstrations are highly contested by skeptics. Probably the most famous being Yuri Geller. Geller has publicly demonstrated feats of psychokinesis. Spoon and key bending have become almost synonymous with his name. Although many skeptics and magicians consider his metal bending performances nothing more than sleight of hand, Geller has allegedly shown that he can manifest the effects over great distances and in multiple locations. On a British radio show in 1973, after demonstrating key bending to the astonishment of the host, Geller invited the listening audience to participate. Just minutes later, phone calls began pouring into the radio station from listeners all over the UK reporting that knives, forks and spoons, keys and nails all began to bend and twist spontaneously. Watches and clocks that had not run for years began to work. It was an event whose success surprised even Geller and thrust him into the spotlight. What many don't know is that the showman's supposed powers were used by the US government. Declassified documents in 1973 show he was tested for clairvoyance or telepathic abilities. Geller was part of a Stargate program, a CIA program aimed at weaponizing psychics. Using gifted people for remote viewing and building an army of psychic warriors. These remote viewers asked to gather information on far away targets using only their minds. When asked about this, Geller claims it to be the tip of the iceberg 
of what he had been asked to do by the CIA, Mossad and other intelligence agencies. If Geller's powers are real, let's make sure he's kept away from the technology we mentioned earlier. The combination of his abilities and that technology could end up creating a real life Doctor Doom. What do you think? Will we reach a point when we will either manifest powers or create them in our factories or labs? Which superpower would you like to have? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, share with your friends, it would be super if you could use your powers and hit that subscribe button. Remember to ring that bell to stay notified. Thank you so much for watching, until next time.